the long-term picture of chronic use of alcohol for, let's say, social anxiety doesn't look pretty if you want to just stop drinking 15 years down the line after you've been drinking every day. But we've been told to think of psych meds differently. And what I'm trying to say is we shouldn't be. What? Because they are just chemicals having chemical effects that your body is adapting to. So obviously that chemical effect is not going to endure. Then there's going to be a cost. So one of the major pieces of informed consent I would like to see foregrounded for people is it may be nearly physically impossible for you to come off of this medication after several years of use. Jesus. Are you cool with that? And all you have to do is Google antidepressant withdrawal or benzodiazepine withdrawal because we're keeping people on these meds long term because, of course, we're not fixing the root cause of the problem. It's like if you have glass in your foot, we're not taking the glass out. We're just like putting a Band-Aid on it, giving you a Tylenol and being like, OK, get out of here. So we're not fixing the problem, so to speak. We're masking it. And it's like a whack-a-mole. It's just going to keep manifesting in other ways. So people are kept on these meds long term. And then coming off them is I've come to the conclusion that they're more habit forming than any chemicals on the planet crack, OxyContin, nothing. They, they do not hold a candle to how hard it can be to come off of psych meds.